Hey guys, Bree here at Blossom Branch Farm. Today I'm going to be showing you a trick for how to pre-sprout seedlings that may be a little bit trickier to germinate so that you don't waste space in your trays. Let's go. So this is a trick that we started doing a few years ago with a seed called cherry caramel phlox. And this seed for us just was so difficult to germinate. I'm not sure why it gave us so much trouble, but it did. And so we tried this little trick and ever since then we do it with anything that takes up a lot of room, that is trickier to germinate. Um, it just gives us more consistent germination without having to take up a lot of space in a seed tray. So, you know, with seeds that are trickier to germinate, if you're seeding one per cell in a seed tray, then it just takes up a lot of space if they don't all germinate. So this also works really well for seeds that maybe have a lower germination rate. So some of the seeds that we use this little trick with include the cherry caramel flocks that I mentioned. We also do it with a lot of our echinacea seeds, some of our native seeds that tend to be a little bit harder to germinate, things that are a little bit slower to germinate because if we're germinating those slower things in a tray, we have to be making sure we're keeping it moist without getting algae or fungus growth in there. So this little pre-spreading trick works really well. So what is it? It's very simple. All we do is we take a wet paper towel and you can use a reusable paper towel. You don't have to use a disposable one if you want to keep it very eco-friendly. You take your paper towel, you wet it, sprinkle those seeds right on top of that paper towel, and then you're just going to fold up your little paper towel and then you're going to put it into either a bag. You can put it into a little Ziploc baggie. If you don't want to use plastic, you can just use some beeswax coated fabric. Put your moistened paper towel with your seeds in it and just fold it up. And once you have it folded up, you're going to follow the same instructions that you would for that seed based on the following light and temperature. So those are the two things when you're trying this trick that you'll want to pay attention to. It's going to depend on the seed. If you're not sure, just look it up. Johnny's Seeds has a great resource list on their website by seed. Depending on what you're growing, that will tell you whether those seeds need to be in a light environment or whether they need to be in a dark environment to germinate and also temperature. So if it's a seed, for example, peppers that need to be in a warmer environment, you might put them on a heat mat or you can put them on top of your fridge is another great place to put them because it's fairly warm up there. And if it's something that needs to be cooler, then put it in a cooler spot. Definitely not on a heat mat, not in the sun. So those are things that you'll want to pay attention to when you're doing this method. So that still is going to apply. If the seed needs light to germinate, it's still gonna need light when it's in this paper towel. So once you've done this, you're gonna check on them every couple days. Usually this is a faster way to sprout your seeds. So they tend to sprout a little bit faster with this method than in a seed tray. So you'll wanna check every couple days and then that way you can catch them as soon as they start to germinate. So here's the stage that we are looking for. When I open up my little paper towel, I want to see that they have just started to sprout. I don't wanna to wait too long. The problem with waiting too long after you've done this method is that this little sprout start to grow into your paper towel and then as you try to pull them out, it can do some damage to the little root of the seedling. So I like to do it just until this stage where they just started to sprout out of their seed container and then I'm gonna put them right into my soil blocks. I'm not gonna show you how to soil block in this video. If you wanna learn how, we've got a million videos on our channel about it. If you're using a tray, you can put them in there too. So because these have pre-sprouted, the next thing that I like to do after I have put them into my tray is sprinkle them with a layer of vermiculite or you can use the same seed starting soil that you're using in your seed tray and then spray it to moisten it. So what you don't wanna happen is for these little roots that have started to come out because they're exposed to air, you don't want them to dry out, which is why you're gonna to wanna to sprinkle them just lightly with some vermiculite or some seed starting soil and then moisten that. Now, I also like to put a little bit of a humidity dome over just until they've started to pop up and out of that little light covering of soil that we've put over the top. So that will help keep those roots from drying out. All right guys, that's it. It's very quick and easy and simple, but it can be a big game changer for seeds that are difficult to germinate. The only seeds I don't like to do this with are very, very small seeds because they're hard to pick up and out of these paper towels once they've sprouted. So things like poppies are very difficult to do this way. Snapdragons I also maybe wouldn't do this way, although you could try. Snapdragons can be trickier to germinate too. So 
maybe we'll give it a shot, see how it goes. All right, guys, that's it. Quick and simple tip. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please feel free to like and subscribe. It really helps us out. And we'll see you next time in the garden.